This certainly wasn't on my bingo card for 2024, but Activision just updated Infinite Warfare. This game is nearly eight years old and has barely any players on console and PC, but Activision has just fixed a pretty serious issue with the game on PC in the year 2024. So let's dive into specifically what's changed, what was broken, and how this might be the first signs of older COD games being fixed for a Game Pass integration. For the last two years on PC, Infinite Warfare has had a major issue with multiplayer servers to the point where it was literally impossible to play a multiplayer public match every time you searched for a game and got into a lobby and the game was about to start you would be hit with an error with the game stating that the level fast file is different from the server aborting connection and you would be in this loop infinitely where a game would never ever load and like i mentioned that's been an issue for over two years on pc where the only way that you could play multiplayer on this game was either by creating a private match and inviting people which is where communities started being created solely for the purpose of trying to play private matches on infinite warfare or you'd have to resort to using some sort of modded client for infinite warfare and based on how popular or unpopular that client was you might not have even found any real players on those servers and for the last two years infinite warfare multiplayer on pc has been impossible Possible to play with no likelihood of it ever being fixed. Massively dedicated IW fans have tweeted various devs over the years to try and get this issue sorted, but this actually resulted in this issue being fixed with a really cool Twitter interaction. So Twitter user at Dasher Soul 88995 tweeted at someone called Paul Hale, who is currently at Activision Central Tech, likely helping behind the scenes to make sure that the game servers run properly and any tech issues issues with the games are sorted. Dasher tweeted at Paul Hale asking for the game to be fixed with a really interesting point that Infinite Warfare was never that lively on PC and that the Steam version of Infinite Warfare multiplayer was busted. There is also a Windows Store version of Infinite Warfare that actually has matchmaking that works but no one owns or plays it and it would be nice if things get fixed and he responded with hmm I will install it now and take a look and that was on the 29th of May. Fast forward over two weeks from that tweet and he responds saying okay try now and lo and behold infinite warfare multiplayer suddenly gets an update like that and the matchmaking now fully works. Considering that the player count for Infinite Warfare on Steam is only about 200, and for the issue lasting well over two years, you'd think the game would be a lost cause, but all it took was one developer to see that there was a genuine issue with the game and then going ahead and fixing it. But like I mentioned at the start of the video, I think that there is a much bigger picture to all of this. The fact that this game is also on the Microsoft Store is very interesting because i don't think there's many call of duty games on the microsoft store period like right now if you get black ops 6 through game pass on that store you technically don't get the pre-order bonus wood skin yet because modern warfare 3 doesn't exist on the microsoft store meaning they're probably working on a version of the call of duty hq to be on the microsoft store but the only two call of duty games on that store right now is modern warfare remastered and infinite warfare and you can guarantee that the matchmaking on those versions of the game are absolutely dead but i think this is a sign that at the very least very soon every call of duty game on steam with multiplayer will have crossplay over with the microsoft store versions of those games and it's likely that more call of duty games will be coming to the microsoft store soon and the reason why i say that is because of xbox game pass we know that black ops 6 is going to be a day one call of duty release on game pass and that is for both game pass on xbox as well as game pass on pc but like we've mentioned before there are very few call of duty games currently on the microsoft store meaning if all of the older cod games are suddenly on xbox game pass pc then those old games need to be on the store available for you to play on game pass pc we've seen in the last few months that a lot of older cod games have just had random updates appear out of nowhere especially console versions like call of duty 4 modern warfare black ops 2 so it definitely seems like in the background microsoft are starting to update these old
old games to prepare them for Xbox Game Pass. We had no official announcement on if the old COD games are coming and a time frame on them. But with everything that's been happening recently in the background, it seems like they are slowly but surely sprinkling little things here and there that clue us in on the fact that it is definitely coming. Now, if you're watching this video being a massive Infinite Warfare fan on console, then yeah, you're still going to be able to play this on console. I don't think there's any issues with the game on console, but for PC at least, you can now play public multiplayer matches. Now, this is very dependent on the time of day and the location in which you are. I'm in the UK, and when I heard about this news, I jumped on the game instantly, and I couldn't find a single player in multiplayer public matchmaking. So I definitely think if you want to play public matches of this game, you're going to need to time it around peak times in the US because the only servers are US and EU. But what I was so surprised at is I was like, you know, the multiplayer works, but does the zombies work in public match? Because that's what I love the most about Infinite Warfare. So I search for a public match and lo and behold, I actually find a real person also searching to play zombies in Spaceland. Now, unfortunately, because there's only 200 people on the game within the 24 hour period, the chances of getting a full lobby for zombies in Spaceland public match is pretty much zero. So I couldn't get a full lobby to start it, but the game servers are still active. They still work. You can still play the game on solo online. You can still play private match online and everything's just fine. And I'm doing a bit of research on the Infinite Warfare subreddit. There doesn't appear to be any remote code execution on Infinite Warfare on PC. So you don't need to worry about any hackers or anything like that when it comes to the game. If you do want to play Infinite Warfare and you still are concerned about that, then by all means, go ahead and see if you can find any of the modded clients that exist for the game and play it that way, just to be 100% safe. Now, if you are a Call of Duty PC enjoyer, but you don't have Infinite Warfare yet, then it's very likely that during the Steam Summer Sale this year, Infinite Warfare could be part of that. So you'll be able to pick up the game for a really good price and enjoy the multiplayer offering now that it is actually playable. And you can go ahead and get the season pass if you want and get all of the zombies DLCs because I think Zombies in Spaceland is probably a top 10 zombies map no doubt it is still incredible in 2024 and some of the dlc maps for the game as well were really good fun and i think it will always be the best non-treyarch cod zombies mode hands down it is super underrated with some incredible easter egg quests some great boss fights and of course director's cut and the super easter egg to this day i still don't think a game has done a super easter egg better than how infinite warfare zombies did it and i still don't even think treyarch can match it in black ops 6 i would love to be proven wrong of course but this was an absolute out of nowhere update to a game which i think a lot of people think is probably one of the most disliked call of duty games ever and with it now being functional again on pc this again does mean that it's now likely that older cod games will be both on xbox game pass for console and xbox game pass for pc which is absolutely huge if that happens because that will just open the floodgates for thousands and thousands of new players to come to all of these old nostalgic COD games and fill up the servers again. And I don't think it's possible, but imagine if Microsoft was somehow able to implement cross-play on these old games. So players on Xbox, Microsoft Store, and Steam could all play these old COD games together. It would be absolutely insane. Let me know what you think of Infinite Warfare down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this update video, drop it a thumbs up, share it around, and I'll see you for another video soon.